it's Yessie. So I am on my lunch right now and I decided that I wanted to record a video. Um, I actually got this auto steering wheel tray and it's going to be my first time using it. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like $10. So it's supposed to go on your steering wheel right here so that you can eat. And I'm literally always in my car. Technically, we could eat in the office. However, I hate doing that because at my old jobs, every time I would stay, if the doctor or whoever was still in the office, you know, they start asking you questions and it's like, girl, I am on lunch. So I always eat in my car. Plus it's more relaxing. I can like take off my shoes and stuff. Also, I wanted to get this tray because it's almost soup season and I love soup. And I'm like, I don't want to be like uncomfortable. Like I like to enjoy my food. So I was like, if I have a tray, then I could set it on here and be like really comfy, like eating my pho or whatever. <laughs> so let's open this baby up. So this is what it looks like. And this is where your cup will go. Let me see how I can do this. Okay, so I don't really know like how this is supposed to go. Oh! I did it, I think. Let's see. Oh, by the way, today I'm eating this teriyaki. Can you guys see? Oh. How fun. So today I'm eating this little teriyaki bowl from Costco. These are like good quick meals. And a little LaCroix because I don't really want to drink soda anymore because your girl needs to lose weight. So I still like bubbliness so I'm going to drink that and it's zero calories so and then i have my little sriracha as always and i got my spoon right here so yeah guys like i mentioned i am on my lunch and if you guys don't know i do work in the medical field i'm a medical assistant and I've been a medical assistant for about six or seven years. I always tell people it was an accident because I never wanted to be in the medical field. Um, like growing up, you know, everybody always asks like, oh, what do you want to do when you grow up or whatever? And everyone would always tell me like, oh, you would be like a really good nurse. And I would be like, no, like, I do not want to be in the medical field at all. Also, um, I didn't really like science in high school or ever. <laughs> and um, I knew, like, to become a nurse, you had to do science or, like, biology, anatomy, all that. And that's just not something that I wanted to do. So the only reason I became a medical assistant is because my older sister, my older sister wanted to take a medical assisting course, but she didn't want to do it by herself. I love this little tray. It's so fun. Um, so she's like, oh, like, do you want to do it with me? And at the time I was a cashier was a cashier um for like a long time i was like yeah i'll just do it whatever so we signed up for the medical assisting course and then i think that was like about a year long it was like split up into three courses it was like medical terminology then it was like the clinic and administration and i did it and after 
I didn't even like really look for a job because I was like, eh, whatever, I don't even know if I want to do this. And then about a month after I finished the course, I got a really annoying customer. <laughs> and that was kind of like, ugh, I need to like get out of here. So I texted one of the girls from my school. I was like, hey, like, are you working as an MA? Are you guys hiring? And she's like, actually, we are. She's like, I'll tell my manager um, and just send me your, your resume. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I sent it. And that's basically how I got a job in medical assisting. <laughs> this is so good. So yeah, if you're planning to be an MA and you have questions, let me know. And I'll see if I can answer them. I've worked in, I think, I've worked in like four different specialties. So I kind of have some experience, but just ask and I'll let you know how it is. But yeah, just a fun little quick talk. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Because I just decided to record something really quick. And I feel kind of awkward. I'm like in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of stories. Like, um, I've worked at like some horrible offices. I mean not horrible offices probably just one specific one um i have stories for days about that office if you guys want to know let me know but like i said let me know if you have any questions and i'll try to answer maybe in my next little lunch chat <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my food and watch some videos and I started a new show on Netflix called what is it called it's in Spanish uh, I forgot I'll have to I'll have to let you guys know actually let me check actually I didn't have to check because I remembered it's called diaries of a gigolo and it's in Spanish and it really is about a gigolo <laughs> um, but it's actually really good it's only 10 episodes but I just started it yesterday and I'm hooked. I think I'm on like episode 4 or 5 already and I just started it yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and watch that and finish my food. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next little lunch chats. Um, have a good day.